Alright guys, today I'm going to be installing the Pixel operating system or Pixel Experience onto the OnePlus 8T. It is an unofficial build, it's not the official build. It is a, a beta, You, yeah it's, it's pretty much just a beta. Let me close this. And uh, yeah, today I'll show you guys how to do it, okay? So let me get into, okay here we go. Alright, the things you need, you need a minimal ADB, fast boot installed onto your PC so go everything's in the link in the description if you want to guys want to do this and oh yeah if you guys do any of this it's at your own risk okay so um be aware be 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 aware of that this you break your phone or whatever it's gonna be up up on you okay it's gonna be uh your problem <laughs> I also have an unbreaking tutorial on my uh on my channel too so don't don't worry about that so go on the website to download minimal adb and fast boot and click here it X this out. Scroll down to here. I downloaded the EXE version. So just download it and install it. I've, I've already done that, so I don't need to do that again. And then you need the platform tools folder. So go into this link here. SDK platform tools for Windows. Click here. Check this mark and click download and download it somewhere you can remember and then open it up and then extract the play for platform tools folder okay I have mine right here already and now we're gonna download uh, payload dumper win 64 this is a better version than my than the other payload dumper because the other payload dumper you needed Python and this one you don't need Python so go ahead click on the link here Okay, you're gonna click download here. Just give it a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Then click primary download. There we go. Okay. Just save it to somewhere you remember. I have mine right here already. And uh, open it up and extract the folder. I have the folder extracted already. So just you want to extract it over to it like that. Okay. Close that out. And now we want to download the Pixel operating system that's made by Chanda Rom. I think that's his name. Uh, so click on this link here uh, by Ch Chandra, uh, this person here. He created this um, Pixel experience for the OnePlus 18. It's the beta unofficial version. So if you guys want to use this, you guys can. Um, for some reason, when I install it onto my OnePlus 8T, the fingerprint reader doesn't work. But other people say that it works, so I don't know. So just click here and download here. This is the latest version. Download will start shortly. Save it to somewhere you can remember. I have it here already. And open it up. And we want to take this payload bin file right here and go into our payload dumper win64 and payload input put it in here I have it here already I have it there already and uh, you want to get out of here and you want to double click on payload dumper exe here and what that's gonna do is gonna open up a command prompt and it's gonna dump the files that we need the images that we need onto the output folder here. Give it a little while, it might take some time, okay? <laughs> to let that completely finish, it's about eight, seven, eight files or images. When payload dumper finishes, the command prompt will automatically close on its own, okay? So that's when you know it's done, okay? There we go, all done. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight files that we need. All right, so now we could go back, go back one more, and we can open up a command prompt by going down to the search bar here and type in CMD and hit enter. Or you can also, on your keyboard, t press the Windows key and R, and it opens up this run command and type in CMD here and hit enter. 
that also will open up the command prompt. And in the command prompt, you want to type in CD space, drag and drop this platform tools folder over that you extracted, downloaded and extracted earlier. Over to, over to here, hit enter. And on our one plus AT, we want to turn on, um, turn on developers mode and unlock the bootloader, okay? So go into your one plus AT, go into systems, scroll down to about phone, and repeatedly click on build number until it says you are now a developer. Go back one, go into systems, and go into developers option. And OEM unlocking, enable it. There we go. And also enable advanced reboot too, okay? Hold down the power button, click the three dots on the top right, and click bootloader. This will reboot the phone into um, bootloader mode or uh, fast boot mode. And uh, we're gonna unlock the bootloader now. It says locked here, so we're gonna change that to say unlocked. And make, make sure you save all your data because this is gonna wipe everything out, okay? So go back over to your PC, type in fast boot devices to make sure the OnePlus AT is connected. Our serial number is right here. That means it is connected. And now we want to type in fast boot flashing unlock and hit enter. And you want to relock it again, just type in fast boot flashing lock when you're in the fast boot mode, okay? Now over onto our OnePlus AT, it'll ask us, do you want to unlock the bootloader? We and we do. So we press down on the volume button twice until it says unlock the bootloader and then type uh, I mean and then press the power button now everything's gonna be wiped might take a little while to wipe out and everything okay <clears throat> now that our phone has uh, restarted we can uh, Power it off and power back on into bootloader mode by holding the power button and press uh, press restart and at, right after you press restart, hold down the volume key, okay? So press restart and pre volume down key. Press down the volume down key and you boot into fast boot mode or bootloader mode. There we go. So if we know Chinese, you can click the Chinese one, but I don't. So we go to English and we click advance and we click fast reboot to fast boot and click reboot to fast boot one more time. Now we're in fast boot mode and it says unlock now. So our bootloader is unlocked and now we can send commands through our fast boot. Now go back into your PC and go into the same command prompt. Type in uh, fast boot devices to make sure that our device is connected. And it is, our serial number is right there. Now you want to go into your payload dumper folder over here and go into the output folder here where we uh, extracted the images from the payload bin. And we want to, we want to let me put this down here. Type in these uh, fast boot commands, okay? So now we're in the bootloader already. We want to type in uh, fast boot space dash w. This will wipe our partition on our uh, device. So pretty much erases everything, um, the operating system. So you want to do that. Boom, everything deleted. <laughs> Give it a second. There we go. And we want to copy this here, Facebook flash recovery. Don't don't copy the recovery IMG. So just uh, fast boot flash recovery. Make sure there's a space. So fast boot space flash space recovery space. And we take the recovery image here in the up, output folder and drag and drop it into our command prompt and hit enter. Now we want to copy and paste all of this here. Fast boot, reboot, fast boot. 
or type it out, either one you want. Now we want to type in a uh, fast boot flash boot and drag and drop the boot IMG over. Once our yeah okay see our when you're over in the when you're over the one plus AT uh, you have the new recovery now the pixel experience so just leave it the way it is don't touch anything and yeah so type in fast boot space flash space boot space and drag and drop the boot IMG over and press enter in the command prompt. Now type in fast boot space flash space DTBO space and drag and drop the image of that over to the command prompt as well. And make sure you hit enter into command prompt. There we go. And now oop, sorry. Um, copy or type this in here fast boot dash dash disable dash variety space flash space vb m e a t a beta vb meta just copy and paste it would be better but make sure there's a space at the uh, end of the vb meta and drag and drop vb meta image over and hit enter in the command prompt now we do the same one for um VB Meta Systems. Copy and paste that into the command prompt. Make sure there's a space. Drag and drop the image over. Hit enter. That's quick. Now we're going to do the same thing for systems here. Copy and paste that. Fast boot flash systems. Make sure there's a space at the end. Drag and drop the system IMG over. Hit enter in the command prompt. Give it a second or a few seconds. So I'll do this to make it easier for us. Now copy and paste the fast boot space flash space system under dash ext. Make sure there's space at the end. Drag and drop the same corresponding image over and hit enter in the command prompt. There we go. And now fast boot space flash space product. Make sure there's a space at the end. Drag and drop the same corresponding image over. And hit enter. <laughs> this might take a little time since there's seven stuff that they had to send in the right. There we go. Now we can type in fast boot space reboot and it will reboot our phone and you'll have the new pixel experience on your OnePlus 8T. Check it out. Um, it's an unofficial build or unofficial as meaning it's not the it's not complete yet. So uh, you could try it out and see how you like it if you want. And if you want to revert back to the OnePlus 8T's Oxygen OS, you could just follow my unbreaking tutorial and you could and the same thing you could do with that. I mean, you could revert it back to the Oxygen uh, OS. So let's click start. Let's go to, through the initial setup. One thing I don't like about the Pixel OS or yeah, the Pixel operating system is that uh, you can't change the button navigation. I can't change the button navigation to the back button be reversed because uh, on the Pixel operating system, the back button is on the left. I want it to be on the right. Like the OnePlus 8T, you could switch them back and forth. But this one you can't. Maybe with future upgrade, maybe? I hope so. Because I, I prefer the back button to be on the right side over here rather than over there. And on the Pixel Experience, um, custom ROM I can't seem to get the fingerprint reader to work either well let me see let me try it one more time where to go privacy security lock here uh, set a fingerprint let me set up a pin real quick let's see let's see 
If I can set a pin. Nope, I can't. This is the same thing happens when I um, install the Lineage 18 operating system that is also an unofficial beta. But so look, it doesn't work. I can't set it up. And what happens is, say I go back, the fingerprint thing stays there. Look at that. <laughs> the fingerprint uh, symbol thing stays there when it's not supposed to be doing that. But if I turn, out the, uh, turn it off, turn it back on, it goes away. So other than that, it's a, it's pretty good, I guess. It, it'll probably be better later on and when the official build comes out, uh, the official ROM comes out. Yeah, so there you guys go. So you guys want the pixel experience. Uh, I, I read on the XDA forum that the, finger, the other people did this and the fingerprint works. So hey, there you go. Maybe it'll work for you. But for mine, it doesn't work, so I don't know. Try it out, see what happens. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, there you guys go. Check it out. If you guys want to do this too, go ahead and try that. Uh, be sure it's at your own risk, though. Uh, just a disclaimer. You know, but shit, it's pretty easy. Even if you break this phone, it's pretty easy to unbreak it, so uh, check out my tutorial on that. All right, guys, thank you guys so much.